small brewery. Uh, we've been open for almost a year. And uh, when we first started talking about this project, uh, my partner and I both wanted to do a brewery that was as small as we reasonably could be. Um, and we really wanted to have a tasting room and focus on the tasting room. And we also wanted to really focus on growlers. Uh, and uh, so far it's been, the reception we've had has been really great. The only one beer that's really sacred on the list, and uh, we have a couple of beers we try and keep around, a, a pale ale and a, and a hoppy pale ale. The rest uh, come and go depending on the season and uh, depending on our whims. We try to experiment a lot. Cool. Okay. And um, what about the neighborhood? I mean, there's lots of breweries here in Mount Pleasant. Why do you think that is? Um, I mean, there's when we started looking around town, uh, we were really attracted to Main Street because it has a really uh, great mixed community. There's a lot of interesting cafes and restaurants and uh, a lot of interesting people uh, have their lives centered around Main Street. Um, also, uh, you know, and very importantly, the, there's the right kind of zoning here. Um, there's uh, some industrial zoning and that doesn't exist in every part of town. Um, and it's, uh, it's a neighborhood where you can still find um, if you look hard, find some space that's, uh, that's, that's reasonable to rent for, for something like a brewery. So today I'm drinking uh, the Klutz Kölsch by the Brass Snake Brewery. This is a German-style ale called the Kölsch. Uh, it comes in at 5% alcohol by volume. It drinks like a lager, but it's actually an ale, which gives it some nice sort of fruity aspects. So let's see what the aroma is like. And yeah, you've got some very sort of subtle fruity notes with just a little bit of sulfur there that balances it out and a bit of um, nice biscuity malt there underneath. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Oh, that's lovely. Those very, very nice, light, subtle, fruity citrus notes, some lemon, a little bit of orange, a little bit of grassiness under there as well, and this lovely sort of nice biscuity malt finish. And it's a really nice dry finish as well. It really just makes you want to dive back in again. And it's beautifully balanced, lovely soft mouthfeel. I'm gonna give this a 4.5 out of 5 for the Klutz Kölsch by Brassnick Brewery. Cheers. Oh, okay. Okay.